Halifax with this pronouns business. And you're, you're yeah. Mr. Halifax, you're, you've been the face of this company for so long. Do you agree with what they're doing now? Do you know what? I, I, I'm actually quite saddened by it, to be honest with you, if I'm honest, right. because the first priority for the bank should, it should always be its customers. And it just appears to me that Halifax have sort of lost their way a little bit on this. Uh, and when I think about the amount of customers that are waking up and have been incredibly upset by this, um, I, and I just think it's unnecessary. I, I think they've just lost their way a little bit. Uh, and I'm kind of hoping that somebody is going to take a step back and have a look at this and say, do you know what, we've made a little bit of a mistake this, by this, and that we should, um, you know, we should sort of basically reach out to our customers. Because throughout the time that I was in, I mean, I spent 10 years promoting our accounts and going out and spending time with our, with our customers. And the most important thing was to, you know, was to make sure that you, you know, that you made sure that our customers felt comfortable when they came into branches and that we serviced all of their needs. And I think that has to be the priority for any financial organisation. And uh, sadly, I think Halifax have just missed, missed the boat on that one at the moment. And it's strange because normally Halifax were, you know, the people's bank. Um, you know, they were a friendly bank and they do do some great stuff for charity. But on this one, I think they've got it just a little bit wrong. No, I, 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 really, I really appreciate you coming out and saying that, actually, mate, because, you know, it mustn't be easy for you because clearly you worked there for a very, very long time. Um, and, you know, and, it's, and let's be honest, you know, you were front and centre of, the, of a national advertising campaign. And, I, you know, I, I imagine that's, that's opened certain doors for you going forward. So it must be quite tricky for you to, to speak out against, you know, that particular issue, really. Just in a wider sense, you know, do, do, you, do you think it's all gone a bit too far, this now? Because if Halifax just hadn't have done this, I don't think anyone yeah. in the UK would have ever thought, oh, they're, they're anti-trans or they're anti-pronoun, they're anti, you know, nothing. It's the fact that they did it and then went, well, you can close your account if you don't like it. They've kind of mugged themselves off a bit here, haven't they, I think? Yeah, do you know what? I was, I was really surprised when I heard those comments. And to, to be honest, I didn't actually believe them. I thought it was something that somebody put out as a bit of a joke. But when I got confirmation on it, and I was, to be honest, really absolutely astounded because, as I said before, our focus has always been on our customers and giving them value for money. Um, and looking after all their banking needs. So I was really surprised that um, somebody would take that attitude that if you're not happy with the new changes, you're welcome to close your account because that's not what we were about, Halifax. That's not what we were about as an organisation. So I was, I'm very surprised by that. I mean, I know that there are changes, and I know there's been quite a few changes, but that's, that doesn't seem to be like a Halifax decision to me because we were always classed, we always classed ourselves as a bit of a family, uh, and we'd like to bring our customers into that family. Um, and so it's a little bit surprising that they've gone down this route, I have to say. Uh, again, you know, I really do appreciate your honesty. And, and the fact is, oh, mate, you, you do speak for the vast majority of the British public, right? And, and look, I'm not going to drag us into uh, some kind of uh, trans discussion here or anything like that. I know ultimately that's kind of a bit what this is about. I'm not, not going to take us down that route, mate. That's not what you're on for. But, you know, the fact is, it's roughly about something like 0.3% of the population that really would be affected by this. And so if you're then making an entire workforce and then I suppose your, enti your entire um, uh, customer base, I suppose you, you would say, kind of get on board with this, it does seem a little bit disproportionate, doesn't it? It's a little bit strange, really, because I think, I think where people are making a bit of a mistake, it, it should be just about people per se, everybody included. I don't think we should be um, individualising people at all. I think it should be just the collective. So, um, you know, to introduce name bands, you know, name badges with pronouns. I mean, well, obviously that's their, their, their choice, but it shouldn't be about that. It just should be about the customer and how we can service the customer's needs. And that should be the priority for any financial organisation. It actually should be the priority for any organisation because we all know that our customers are the lifeblood of any organisation. Right now, Howard, look, I, I, I think you've done a fantastic job here and it's been great to have you on and uh, certainly as well as uh, at rather short notice and confusing notice as well as certain situations there, of course. Uh, but um, but thank you very much for making the time for us. Just Can I just ask, mate, you know, there's something that's really bothering me, Howard, mate. It's really bothering me. Go on, man. I can't, I can't quite remember one of the more famous lines of the songs that you sung on on one of those first <laughs> adverts, man. I can't. Hang it's on. just, it's, it's escaped me. Maybe I'm a banker who's completely obsessed. I've got a little something that's bound to impress.
This current account pays a higher amount of extraordinary interest. <laughs> oh, you legend! You legend! You absolute legend! <laughs> what was that? I was sorry, mate. What was that? Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> oh yes! Oh, you love to see it, Howard. Yeah. You absolutely legend. Look, mate, thank you so much. Like I said as well, uh, apologies for a uh, little bit of confusion earlier in terms of what time you're going to be on the show. But uh, Howard, much appreciated, mate. And look, I'm sure this won't be the last time that we will see you. But great stuff. So